so good to see both of you. And congratulations on this movie. It's kind of like wow. Avatar, Fifth Element, Star Wars, everything all, all into one. It's a spectacular. Thanks. Yeah, that's a pretty good melange of movies. So. <laughs> it is a melange yeah, of movies, it is. One. It really is. And there's a bit of a love story as yes. well, as well as all of that going on. There's a bit of a love story between your two characters, I believe. Yeah, totally. Uh, you know, we're uh, running around saving the universe, but also I have a really big crush on on uh, Kara's character here. Shucks. I think it's actually, it's pretty amazing because uh, amongst of, it's obviously the mind-blowing visual effects, it has this really incredible story of these two characters and both of those things intertwining with each other, it makes just a really all-rounded, like very visual and amazing movie to watch. It's very, it's very entertaining. Very much so, Cara, and a very strong performance, a really strong woman there, right, at the, right at the, in the lead. We like that. We like strong women. Yeah, Laureline is certainly strong. You know, I think her and Valerian together, they make an incredible team and they really help each other. They save each other. They need each other. And they don't really realise how much they care about each other until they have the... Um, have the scare, the moment that they might actually lose each other. Um, it's just a really wonderful reflection of modern day relationships. And also lots of fighting. You and Clive Owen had a lot of fight scenes, didn't you? You, you did give him a bit of a slapping. It was really only one day and I think I spent probably half of it punching Clive in the face. I didn't once hit him though, so that I can be proud of. <laughs> well done. It looks very convincing, I have to say. And Dane, you said getting this part, it was kind Thank of like you. winning the lottery for you. That's what it felt like. Yeah, it was amazing, you know, like, uh, I just got a call from my agent that Luc Besson wanted to meet with me, and the next thing I know, I was sitting across from Luc Besson, and he was saying, I want to make the movie I've wanted to make my entire life, and I want you to star in it. So, in that way, it was, it was like the phone call every actor dreams of getting. And you said you had to be in the best shape of your life. Yeah, you know, Valerian never gets tired, you know, he can do a lot of things. He goes around the universe and fights and runs and jumps and, you know, he's incredibly physically capable. So that was just a part of the role. I worked out mm -hmm. for, you know, three months beforehand and every day while we were there for six months. So it was like two hours a day every single day for nine months. I was in really, really good shape by the end of it. Well, yeah, you're still this movie is also good. set 24 hours a day in the life of Valerian and Laureline, so they basically never sit down once, so we had to really play that. <laughs> yeah, so it's full-on, full-on action, isn't it? And you had a brilliant co-star as well. Rihanna is in this movie. And I know you two got on very well, Cara. Yes, it's, it's, it's been amazing, because I think the first time we met, it was um, actually during a fashion show. So, you know, the first time we met, we were working together, and now, five years later, we're doing a film together, you know, doing a Luc Besson film, which I think for both of us, uh, we all grew up watching his movies. Mm -hmm. So to actually be in one of his films as leading ladies is really, really incredible. It's, it's crazy. Pinch me, for sure, <laughs> moments. No, it's, there you go. Fantastic. <laughs> it worked. And also, I said earlier on about, about some elements of the, of the fifth element being there, and of course, that was famously one of his films. And you always get, you always get your money's worth with him, don't you? I mean, the, the effects, as you said, are incredible, but it's all very well having effects. There has to be a really good story there too, doesn't there? Yeah, definitely. And I think the range of characters, you know, there are so many different aliens. Like every time we get asked the question, what's your favourite character alien in this movie? You know, every single environment, every alien has been thought out, has, you know, been drawn, you know, 50 years ago and through Luke's imagination has been brought to life. I think there's so many different things you can take away and enjoy in this movie. It's really hard to pick one moment. And also, Dane, you've got a little baby now. Now, is your baby called Bowie? Yeah, Bowie. Bowie. I guess, well, in London, people say Bow Bowie, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, we do. Know, I know. Say for David. Bowie. Yeah. Oh, you say David yeah. Bowie? David I've heard Bo people say David Bowie. <laughs> I know, we tend but to But yeah, Bowie. That. We call her Bowie. Oh. Bowie Rose. And was, was it after? You're a big fan so of, of, of David Bowie. Was it because of that? Or you just like the name? Um, I mean, I just, I like the name. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of David Bowie, you know, and I think he's a cool person to name... Um, a girl after, I guess, because he's fairly androgynous, but he's still a really amazing, I think, role model um, as an artist and how he lived his life. And, um, you know, I, I, we've always liked the name, but obviously the, um, the who you compare, whatever the, the uh, whatever the name, the... <laughs> the comparison, comparison between the two. Yeah, that's comparison. it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Though. Yeah, definitely. No, it's lovely. You know what I mean? 
It's a, it's a, it's a gorgeous, no, it's a beautiful, you know beautiful what I'm name. You know what I mean? Beautiful name for a wee girl. It really is. Yeah, now, look, Carrie, we talked about that this is a strong woman you're portraying. There's been lots of rumours about the fact that you may mm -hmm. or may not. I'm not going to say Bond girl because I think we should call them Bond women. Is that something you would be up for? Is that so, is this just nonsense or is it any? I'd be up to be the next Bond girl. Yeah, Good. I mean. I've always really liked James Bond, you know. Um, and he has the legs for it. And so. yeah, really you know, there's been so many great Bond girls of the past that to be able to fill those shoes yeah. would just, it would be a dream come true. To you know, the long it really line would. Of amazing women. Yeah. I think yeah. that would yeah. be, yes, I think that would be rather lovely. <laughs> pussy galore. Yeah. You could be pussy galore too. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you two obviously got on yes. really well. You got Lives on really well end. together. Good and um, it's great to see both of you. Thank you for coming in. And good luck with the movie. I know it's out on August the 2nd. And great to see both of you. And I look forward to seeing you as a Bond lady. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Great to see Thanks. you guys. Thanks. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Absolutely. You yeah. heard it here first.